okay my gorgeous friends uh, welcome again so in this section we are going to save the users auth token and the users id to the shared preference which is the database we created you can see this is the method to actually save it save user id and save token all right so what we'll be doing now is to go over to our auth provider here all right so i'm not going to be doing that inside register user because the register user does not return the auth token so we know we won't be doing it that we won't be doing that inside there so i'll be going to our login user when the response is successful we get the data and stuff like that so in here what i'm going to do first is to get uh, the, the user id and then store it inside a variable and then we store it from there so i'll have a final okay user id so how do we get the user id we get it from this response okay so from the response, remember it's an object, so we can use square bracket to access the data inside. So from the object, how do we locate the user ID? From the object, if we want to locate your message, you can just use message. But now we have user inside here. So the user is also an object, a map as well. So we're going to use that. Okay, user. Then from the user, we can now access the ID inside the user. Okay. So in your case, you might want to access the first name or whatever you want to access. So in this case, now we can now access the id okay then what about the token to get the token what we can just do is to get token stick from the response but now if you look closely now the response is not actually the auth token is not actually inside user you can see that so the user now starts from here and ends here so this token is actually outside the user but still inside the response so what we have to do is just to call the auth token here so most of this will be very best if you are using a model class but i'm going to show you how to use the model class later on as we proceed why we are working with tags to get a tax so i'm going to show you instead of typing this thing manually you can just use your dot 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 you know to assess each of the the method inside of variable and stuff like that okay so now if we print out the user id and also print out the token whenever we log in we are going to see the values that we are trying to assess okay like so so save it uh yep then let's try to log in yeah g dot dot com and password one to five and we can say login so let's wait okay invalid credentials uh you can see we didn't really see any prints any any token or because it's calling from this side so now let's see i don't know what was the is it g dot g okay let's try g dot g invalid credentials still okay let's try it to six all right let's change the password to six all right so i've actually forgotten the uh the stuffs we use uh was it h let's see h dot gmail i've forgotten what i used to log in then okay to create account then all right <laughs> let's change this stuff to five and see okay so the password is h at gmail.com the password is one to five note that all right so you can see the user's id so if you look here now you can see the user's id is the same thing as this and this is the token which we'll be using for authorization and this is also the token as well for authorization all right so now we got it so what we need to do now is to save those data so we'll be calling our database provider which is from here we're going to be calling the class database provider dot save token or dot save user id like so so we have dot save token so for this case we are going to pass the token and then we have database provider dot save user id and now we can pass the user id here all right so once we save those data what we need to do now is to navigate the user directly into the home page okay all right so that's what we're going to be doing okay so for this case uh, i think we need to do one more thing but right side that let's first of all create a home page so i'm just going to collapse each one of these okay now we have our screen right and uh, inside the screen i'm going to have home page okay home page dot that so inside this home page i'm just going to create a simple uh, material app uh, with a scaffold uh, it's going to be a stateful widget basically and i will call just call this one home page Okay, then we can have a scaffold here. 
an add bar okay so i think i actually have a clean uh, let's see what i use for the app bar so the app bar we're just going to use okay this okay so the title is going to be to do list uh, automatically imply leading no we don't need that okay uh yep so that's the app bar whenever we navigate okay to the login the uh, home page screen so in here now what i'm going to do the same thing i did for the register page and i'm also going to do it here so i'll copy that and come over here and save it in here then i'll change this stuff to home page all right so let's save it up and watch what we happen now if i log in successfully it's going to take us to the home page that i just created you can see login successful and we are the home page okay but what happens if i do a hot restart i've already i've already registered i've created an account but it's still taking me to the login page it shouldn't be like that right yeah it shouldn't be like this so we have already stored the user's token and the user's id okay because the user already logged in so what we need to do well as long as the users have already logged in we need to take them to home page okay but if the user is not logged in yet we need to take them to the login page which is this page so we'll be handling that inside our shared preference sorry our splash screen so you can see here i have this stuff here which is login page blah 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 and after three seconds we are, this is where the navigator happens inside the splash screen so what i will do i will assess the database provider okay and dot get the token okay you can see why i use a uh, future builder here because uh, it will give me access to use then okay to actually wait when the data is being returned okay so if you look at my db provider you can see getting token and use future that returns a string and it's empty string if the token is empty okay so here now i will check if uh, the value is equal to an empty string that means the user have not logged in before so what i will do i will just navigate the user to login page but if the user is already authenticated that is you already logged in once so what i just have to do is to take the user directly to the home page instead of taking the user to the login page again okay i believe most persons have actually asked me how to do stuff like this and this is how you do it and if we do a hot restart now after this last screen it will take us to home page because we have already logged in all right so now let's handle sign out okay so from the login page now we're going to go here and create uh, you can see now it's taking us to this page so right here now we're going to create an action button that will handle sign out for us so for sign out i'll just have an icon button like so icon icon dot exit is it exit to app okay i need a hint i need a hint okay exit to app and then we have unpressed all right like so okay something is missing somewhere and i don't think anything is missing i guess i'm the one missing something for putting this stuff yeah yeah i'm the one missing it okay so we have this as well okay i'm just typing rubbish here okay so this is where we're going to log out the user okay so i'm going to write a method for actually logging out a user right now so what we'll do we'll go back to our db provider which is where we are storing all our db so what i'm going to do i'm going to clear the shared preference and then uh, send the user off to login page okay so i'll create a void method here and call this one logout okay and uh, then inside here what i'm just going to do is just to create an instance of the value so we want to use a sync as well value equal to await and pref like so and then what i can call here and i just value dot clear so i'll just clear everything and once i clear i can now navigate the user to the login page like so okay yeah that's 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 better and that's good 
so we don't navigate the user to login page so right now i need to pass the contest that will be needed to pass okay like so then inside here which is the home page where i'll be calling the logout so i'll be calling db database provider dot logout and i'll pass the contest and then close it in your case you might want to show a dialogue okay before you log out a user so see now if i click on this logout it will clear the database okay clear everything and then take us back to login page all right so if i do a hot restart now instead of you taking us to home page it's going to take us to the sign up page because the token the user id everything is empty okay so the user is null it won't take us back to the home page to take us to the login page awesome so now we need to log in again h at gmail.com and then we can pass in our password all right guys you can see how to authenticate a user okay now if i do a hot restart and it's going to take us to this page all right so guys you have seen how to authenticate a user how to uh save users data in your database and also how to check if a user is null or not if the user is null you take them to the login page or if you're using onboarding page or whatever page you want to show them then if the user is not empty if the user already authenticated his or herself you just take them directly to home page all right so and you also saw how to log out a user just by clearing the shared preference and then navigating them back to the home page to the login page actually okay so uh in the next section we are going to work build uh the the, the home page of the task